Hello, this is Mario Farina. Today I'll read a story to you entitled Superstitious Woman. This is the Superstitious Woman. This picture is at the front of the story. The story appears in Smashwords, Smashwords www.smashwords.com. There are many other stories there that are free, like this one is. This, this story also appears in a book that I published recently, What Do We Do Now? Superstitious Woman. This is not going to be a good day for you, woman, he growled. Make up your mind to that. First, we'll see what you have that's worth taking. The worst is yet to be. Hey, that rhymes. The worst is yet to be. Henrietta Schuller had just come home from a visit at her favorite bridge and had found this monster in the shape of a man sitting with a gun in his lap pointed at the door through which she had just entered. Lock that door, he had demanded. And I'll wait. <laughs> I wait till that is, has ended. The clock strikes 12. It always strikes 12. It doesn't matter what time it is. It always strikes 12. I don't know what time it is right now. It may be 12, but it also may be 1. <laughs> I will begin with lock that door. Lock that door, he had demanded. Sit over there where I can see you. He had pointed to a sofa facing him. She had done as he had ordered. Henrietta was superstitious. Everyone who knew her understood this. Today she had made sure that she had not stepped on any cracks, walked under any ladders, or had a, a black cat cross her path. The bridge that she had stood under for several minutes was in the shape of a horseshoe. She should have come home to good luck when returning, not bad. Henrietta knew that she must not panic. She had read about and seen on television many stories involving encounters with vicious animals. Unless she used her brain to the utmost at this critical time, she could suffer a fate no woman should ever endure. I'll make it easy for you, friend, she said. You won't have to rummage through the house, opening drawers and strewing papers all over the floor. I think you'll be happy with whatever help I can give you. But first, it would be best for you to know what fate has in store for you as you experience this adventure. I was born in a year where there was no Friday the 13th, and therefore have special powers that most people don't have. Go ahead and try to press that trigger. I have just decreed that instead of a bullet coming toward me, that gun will explode in that pretty face of yours, and you won't look anywhere near as handsome in your coffin as you do now. You're bluffing, he growled. I have half a mind to bump you off right now instead of later, as I had planned. That would be stupid of you, she responded tartly. That way, you won't find half the money that's in this house, and I don't suppose you'd want a bloodied corpse with which to do the rest of the evil that you have in mind. I assure you, that gun will explode. Fire it into the ceiling, if you don't believe me. It will still make a mess of your face, but at least you'll have made your point. This special ability you claim you have, are you saying you're a witch? No, but I'm special. Right now, when I go out, there is a magnetic field that protects me from all harm. I could be hit by a bus, knocked 50 feet into the air, and come down smiling. I could come over there right now, take that gun out of your hand, and shoot you with it. Why the hell don't you then? 
the blood, you bastard. I don't want my house, my lovely home that I take so much pride in, polluted by that vile, filthy stuff that flows through your ugly veins to contaminate it. You're not welcome in my house. I don't know how you got in, but I'm a compassionate person. I don't want to see you dead in my house. I'm willing to give you money so that you could, so that you could get out of here in one piece. But first I need to do my duty as a civilized human being and try to save you from the revolting life you are fated to live. I don't need your help, witch woman. I have no desire to be saved by you, but this power that you claim you have, could I have it too? It's possible, but I do need to know more about you. Have you ever walked under a ladder, even once? I don't know. Maybe that would not be good for you. Every time you do that, there will be bad luck for you. Maybe not then, but later. Maybe even today. How about having a black cat cross your path? Has that ever happened? It might have. It's the same result as with the latter. It means bad fortune for you. Maybe even today. And how about a mirror? Have you ever broken one? I don't think so, but maybe. That's seven years of bad luck. You're full of maybes. It could be that all of those bad luck issues have come to curse you today. This could be especially terrible for you because you came to the wrong house and found a situation you could not handle. Whenever somebody tries to do me harm, the kind that you're expecting to do, that evil comes right back to them. This very day could be an exceptionally unlucky day for you. Exceptionally unlucky. I don't believe any of this. I think you're making it up. Prove to me that what you're saying is true. That's easy to do. In a normal calendar, you will find no months that do not have at least one Friday the 13th. In the year that I was born, there was an exception. During that year, there was not even one Friday the 13th. How do you explain that? Does this not show that I'm special and do have all the special powers I've said I had? Go ahead, explain it. I can't. My God, I've come to the wrong house. I'm going to get out of here right away. Not so fast, Henrietta explained. There's a price to pay. I won't let you go until you've heard me out. Not so fast. You can't keep me here, he snarled. If you dare walk out of that door, you will find the worst terror that your mind can conjure up. Think about it. The very thing you fear most, you will not be able to escape it. What is that thing? That guard. Bo Johnson, he gave me hell in prison. I spent three years under his brutal control. Exactly, Henrietta said. Open that door. He'll be there. He'll put handcuffs on you and take you right back to that horrible place you were in. What do I have to do to get out of here? Pick up that phone beside you, dial 911, and ask that the police come here and take you away, she ordered. Can't you give me an easier way? I don't want to see the police right now. That's the only way that will work, Henrietta responded. I said it was my duty to try to save you. There's only one way. You need to give yourself up and try to lead a better life. You seem to know all the right ways to live, he muttered. After I have reformed, will I have to do to be as decent as you? You need to accept some things you may not want to believe in, such as when you walk on the sidewalk, don't step on cracks, never walk under a ladder, don't let a black cat ever cross your path. These are the worst things you can do. What are the good things I should do? If you see a penny, pick it up. It will bring good luck. 
if you think something is bad is that's going to happen, knock on wood or toss some salt over your left shoulder. Anything else? No. Those are the rules under which I live. Now pick up that phone and dial 911. That's the end of the story. Thank you for looking. Thank you for listening. Tomorrow I'll have another story for you. Thank you. Bye-bye.